uh, too crowded, or they will be if we kept them in there. So what we do is we're going to split them up and put them in these individual pots. And uh, so Michael is going to demonstrate uh, some of the best practices for uh, doing this. So one of the things you want to do is not squish the plants under your hand when you're taking this out. Um, there are a few ways of doing that. Sometimes you can fit your fingers in between them, sometimes you can't. Um, a lot of times you need to massage the pot to try to loosen it around the edges. Uh, and you can find somewhere where you can support it and you pull the pot off like that. This, and now I'll show you how to separate some of these. You just want to try to carefully separate the roots. And when you plant them, you want to be real careful that you get the depth right. You want to plant them so that, so that the soil is right about there, where, right about where the roots start. If it's too deep, it can negatively impact the roots. Is that with all plants or just with the, those, these type of guavas? It's, uh, with most plants. There are some plants that like to be planted deep, like tomatoes for one. But for most plants, you want to put it about at the level it was when it was a seedling. Uh, or if you can't exactly tell that, you want to start it, you want to put the soil line right about where the first root starts. Now, to plant something like this, there are a few different methods I use to tr move a transplant into a new pot. This is one of my favorites, where I put it about halfway and squish, it, squish the soil against the side. Then I drop the plant in here, and I hold it right at about the right level. So you can see yeah. that there? Yeah. Okay. And I keep the pot tilted. Hold this at approximately the right level, and then I'll fill up this, this side. I'm going to have to push that in there a little bit. And by doing that, I can get the pot filled just about right and have the plant at right, about the right depth in the soil. So that is transplanted. It need to be watered still, and then we'll put that in the shade house to let it get re-adjusted re or reacclimated. You definitely want to have the level of soil below the rim of the pot. If the soil is mounded up above it, water will run off instead of soaking in. The purpose is for, for squishing it against the side here is to get part of it somewhat compacted. The soil is very fluffy, especially with all this coffee chaff in here. And if we don't get it squished while it's in the pot, it's going to squish eventually and then we're going to have half a pot with, of soil and, and that's, that's kind of unprofessional. Uh, you want to give your plant as much soil as the pot has room for. And you want to have it at the right level. Now soil compaction is generally considered a problem in forests and whatnot, but we're just pressing on it with our fingers, we're not driving trucks over it. So. It's, it's a different sort of compaction. We're, we're just pressing out the, the air spaces and the extra fluff. And you see, I'll, let me dig down here a little bit and show you where the roots start. So you can see... Like pretty much at the top? Pretty much right at the top there. So that's, I, I got that pretty much right where I was aiming. Uh, it's a, the perlite is a, is a, it's a expanded volcanic glass. And the vermiculite is an expanded mica, and I think they actually have to heat the mica to get it to puff up. I'm not really sure. But that's, that's the stuff that looks like little accordions. And what does that do again? It holds in the moisture? Um, and aerates it a little bit? Yeah, it's a, it provides a good aerated medium for the roots to grow into. It, doesn't, it keeps them from getting too saturated. Because the roots, when, the new roots, when they're growing, need a lot of air. I'm going to put those, those cut ones back in. So this is what we just uh, got all those cuttings from, and as you can see, these generally need to find a good home. What we're doing here is uh, we're taking cuttings and uh, rooting them, which is like, an, like a natural form of cloning. This is one of the main methods that we use to propagate our plants, is to, um, to root them uh, from cutting. And we'll cover them up with a bag. And, uh, and encourage the root growth and then we'll uh, dig them back up and separate them once they uh, start getting uh, the roots start to take. And the next step is to protect these from drying out, we put a bag on top of them. And we try to pull this down as about as tight as we can and that helps reduce the amount of water that will pool up there. Sometimes I try to make sure there are enough cuttings poking up 
to hold the bag up so that the water sheds off. This is going to fill up a little bit, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah, I can make a a knot that a slip knot that will that will tighten on here. A lot of times when we're doing this with figs or mulberries, and we need to know what variety it is, we'll hang a tag on here or we'll drop a tag inside there. But for right now, this one's done and it goes into the shade. If we were to leave this out in the sun, it would cook all of the cuttings. And since they're since they have no roots, we need to be nice to them and give them a little shade. All of our pots are secondhand. Some of them are more worn out than others. Pots get photodegraded by being out in the sun. And you can see, so this, this pot, you see how it's starting to crack kind of all over the place. That is a sign that this pot has photodegraded and is just brittle and not something you want to use. Because, especially sitting out in the nursery another couple of years, there's probably not going to be much integrity left to this rim. And it's just going to split when we try to pick up the pot and dump the soil out. And when you, you know, you grab it, you, you know, you, you get, give, it, give it a good yank. Make sure nothing breaks. And, and if it does, if there's a little crack somewhere, put it in the discard. Say, so that's, that's not a pot we want to use. We'll, either we'll try to give that away if somebody else doesn't mind broken pots, or we might use that for starting seeds if, if it's only going to be used for a month and then we're going to transplant stuff out of it. It doesn't really matter if the, pot, if the rim's in good shape. Now, this that is going to get as big as it can in that pot, possibly before it gets sold.